On this journey to the top shelf and back again, it better be good. <laughs> that's, that's terrible! <laughs> I like it because it's, like, it's so bad, it's good. He's a bit bitter about that one. It is a staple in a lot of people's cocktail shells, I feel. Yeah, it's pretty much the bitters when you think of bitters. The yellow cap and oversized label of the Angostura bitters. Been produced for about over 200 odd years now. Oh, pretty yeah. good. Is it the same recipe all the way through? Yeah, it's been the same recipe. It's a closely regarded recipe. It's one of those things they said, you know, like only five people in the world mm -hmm. even know of the if it's existent. <laughs> no, they're the same plane and all that kind of stuff. No, no. This is 44% alcohol. You could get hammered off bitters. Your tongue would shrivel up, but you'd be drunk. Yeah. Yeah, so over 200 years ago, Dr. J.G.B. Saget invented the bitters. He sounds like a colonel. Well, he was the Surgeon General of, there, yeah. of one of the armies in Venezuela. Bitters is one of those medicinal tonic -y mm, type of yeah. drinks that they used back in the day. It was used in the Navy to help with like seasicknesses yeah. and other things like that. So uh, the name Angostura actually comes from the town he was first residing in in that. So they moved away from Venezuela and moved into Trinidad and it's become very beloved by the Trinidad people. They actually use it like a seasoning. Like they'll actually marinate um, their chicken and beef and vegetables in this as well. Yeah, that could, that could, you got to yeah. do it right yeah. and just yeah. give it a go. The most favourite thing about these bottles is the label. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love how they've gone and kept with that tradition. Let's face it, it was a fracker. <laughs> <laughs> One brother was in charge of getting the bottles. The other brother was in charge of getting the labels. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't uh, communicate properly to each other. So we have an oversized label for the bottle that uh, it goes on. So they've just stuck it on and it's never looked back. Yeah, it's like their signature thing now, yeah. really, isn't it? And yep. that's it. That's what they're known for. Um, do you have any spoons by chance? <laughs> oh yeah. Now that instantly smells better. What's the other one again? The cut gem. Underberg. The Underberg, yeah. It looks like yeah, medicine. medicine. <laughs> it looks like medicine. It's a little bit sweeter on the nose than Underberg. Yeah. And obviously more bitter and sweeter. It's more pleasant. Yeah, it is more pleasant than the Underberg. Hard to, hard to talk. I can definitely get, I'm still getting those grassy notes. When we first started this channel, do you think one day that we were using teaspoons to sniff alcohol? <laughs> oh, I'm liking it. Oh wait, how do we king? <laughs> Ready? I'm gonna say it, bitter. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting bitter cut grass. It's like a very intense herb sort of a flavor. A dehydrated goat ate grass and what it peed out, that's what it, <laughs> there's a tasting note for you. Do not ask how I came up with it. <laughs> Cause it's so strong. Yeah, yeah that's just yeah. intense. How about we make it something for us more famously known for? And what's more famous than a lemon, lime and bitters? I feel like that's the stock standard. Boom, and my wife absolutely loves them. Okay, yeah, well that's pretty good because it's actually an Aussie drink. Oh, what? Yeah. So, tail goes, a very popular naval drink was pink gin, which is our bitters and gin. Yeah, because in Australia it gets like really flippin' hot. And our parched golfers went back to the clubhouse and uh, as a refreshing drink, swapped out the gin for lemonade and just made us lemon, lime and bitters. And it got so popular, it spread all around the world. So, brother. <laughs> now, let's move on to the cocktail. First up, what a what, what is this going in there? There's so there's, there's multiple different ways to make a lemon lime of bitters. Yeah. Well, let's go in the order of its name. <laughs> Lemonade. <laughs> step number one. That's, that's the last step. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do they call it that way? Lemon <laughs> lime <laughs> Oh, you got to drip the bitters around the outside, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. So the ingredients we're going to be using are lemonade, lime, and bitters. Hence the name. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very astute. So there are multiple ways that your bartender may make a lemon lime and bitters. They might just use soda water, they yeah. might use lemonade, uh, or they could juice the lemon and lime into it, then muddle it. So today we're just gonna go with a slightly easier method. So let's give a little dashy dash on the outside. Yes. Yeah, like that. So Good depending on coating. Yeah. So depending, you know, how many dashes you want, it's depending on personal taste sort of a thing. Mostly between sort of four and five is generally pretty good. Get it in there. 
And some pulp. Oh, fatality. <laughs> so you put in the bitters, then the lime, then the lemon. Then why do they call it a lemon, lime and bitters? They should call it a bitters, lime and lemon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could petition the council to get it changed. Oh yeah, I like the little fizz, hot fizz, effervescent. Mm. Refreshing. Love it. Yeah, that little bit of lime and everything. It's just yeah. a, it's a beautiful balance of sweet, sour mm. and flavour. Yeah, I never really thought of it that way. Yeah, it is good sweet and sour sort of a balance. So those are, you know, sweet, sour, definitely you can absolutely pick mm. up and everything else. And the bitters just helps make it a bit more interesting than just a regular lemonade. This is perfect. So what have we learned on this little journey? Um, we like bitters and it has a funky label. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to do all the cool stuff like comment, like and subscribe. Down below, you know where to go. And we are the High Proof Brothers. <laughs> my empath predicts that this will be slightly bitter. Oh, that just ran up to the back of my throat and punched my tonsils. It is, it's almost like a, I think it's a, is it? No, that's quite a straw, isn't it? We're making pot. <laughs>